Well, before we get into our forecast, I want to start off taking a look at the tropics because Ian is going to be the story this entire week. Right now, tropical storm, but there are already hurricane warnings up for Cuba. Hurricane watches are up for Key West, uh, and we're seeing some hurricane warnings up for the Cayman Islands as well. So taking a look at Ian's update from 5 p.m., it is still a tropical storm. It is strengthening a bit, sustained winds of 45 miles an hour. It is forecast to become a hurricane pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to see this thing strengthen as it moves over the very warm waters of the Caribbean should be a category two or potentially a major hurricane, a cat three by the time it skirts the western edge of Cuba. Then it's going to make its way toward the Gulf side of Florida, possibly as a category two hurricane when it makes landfall. So it's an intense storm system. It's not the worst Florida seen by any means, but it's still going to cause some issues. Now, after that, the question is, where does it go? And that's something we're going to talk more about in the 10 day forecast. So at the moment we still have, well, of course, Ian to watch, but we still have Gaston, which is way out in the middle of nowhere and no concern to the U.S., thank goodness. Satellite and radar loop right now is showing some unsettled conditions for New England. We've got some showers kind of pinwheeling in with this cold front that's coming in out of the west. Once that cold front passes through, any shower chances will diminish. But taking a look at your 24, there is that threat for some showers before midnight tonight. Looks like one little batch of rain comes in, hitting mostly Berkshire County, Franklin County, kind of fizzles out before it even gets to the Springfield area. But there is still the chance for a shower. We're part to mostly cloudy overnight. Some fog is possible tomorrow morning and we're going to start the day off in the mid 50s. A little bit muggy. Overall, not a bad start to the day. We're going to head out through the morning. We're climbing through the 60s. It's actually going to be a comfortable day. Dew points will be in the 50s all day. Temps are going to hit low 70s for the afternoon, and there is a low chance for a shower or two. It looks like there's this one little batch of showers that tries to come through mid-afternoon. So keep the umbrella with you just in case you happen to be out. I don't think we're going to see much. It should be very hit or miss. But if you do get caught in a shower, it might, you know, pour really quickly and then just kind of move on. Looking at the dew points, they are still on the moderate side for Monday. There's a touch of humidity, especially in the morning. Then dew points take a nice drop. We have another cold front that's going to be passing through Tuesday into Wednesday, but there's not really any change to our forecast. It's going to be dry. It's going to be refreshing pretty much all week long. Then our next weather maker is potentially remnants of Ian. Now, at this point, it's still very uncertain where the remnants will go. There's, uh, it looks like there could be some high pressure that builds into New England, keeping the shower south of us, but a couple of showers are looking possible Saturday into Sunday. At the moment, it doesn't look like anything too significant for our area, but it's still something to watch. Anything tropical, you know, it's going to bring up the humidity. The tropical rain could be on the heavy side at times, even if it's just a couple of showers. There may also be some gusty breezes, but for now, we're just keeping an eye on things. Most of this week is quiet. We are seasonable tomorrow into Tuesday. We start trending chillier through the end of the week. Low 60s for highs Thursday and Friday with some upper 30s at night. The weekend we're watching Ian again could bring some showers our way, especially Saturday night into Sunday. And then we're breezy, dry, and that's October weather for you as we're back to the mid 60s for highs next week. Matt, back to you.